welcome to this week's edition of Mainly Motorsports, and we're keeping our trend going and went out and found us another champion. And this week's show, we got Jacob Dorr, who was the E Keys for Modified Champion down there at Star Speedway. I want to welcome you to Mainly Motorsports. Thank you. Well, this is a pretty big deal today because we actually have the biggest audience we've ever had here. Yeah, we got like five people in here. It's that's pretty big. That's pretty good, you know. It's something. <laughs> and speaking of that, we are going to build up to that, and we're going to do that at Augusta. Greg came up with a great idea, and we're going to tape that week's episode of Mainly Motorsports right up there. So if anybody's got any ideas on what we should do and how we should do it, you know, email us, and you know, because we want to make it fun. We're, we're all about changes. We're yeah. looking to make some changes, you know, and. Uh, I, I like how you wait until Greg's not here to announce that Greg had a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but, well, because, yeah, because I don't want Greg, to, then he would, uh, you know. Oh, okay. But usually, like, Beatridge is safe today because I never go off on Beatridge hmm? unless Greg's here. Because huh? he, then he'll tell me after, dude, why, do you gotta, why can't you do it when somebody else is there when you mention the tech guy yeah. or whatever? But, uh, you know, you run down the star, you race the MRS, and this is another one of those deals I called the shot at the beginning of the year, right? Yeah. I mean, I told everybody it was going to come down to you and Josh. And, yeah, it did. And it did. I mean, uh, the Modified class, there aren't a lot of places to see it, but there's still a lot of big fans of the Modifieds right here in Maine that have yeah. to travel to Star. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good over there. It's, it was competitive. We ran, uh, I don't even remember how many races, but it was spread out. We only got one win. We brought home the championship, finished top three almost every week, so... That's yeah. good. No, and, and that's what wins championships. Yeah. It's consistency because you didn't win. You didn't win the most races because I think I got an email or something that said that <laughs> something like the the second place guy actually had three wins this year. Or and the third place guy. They had three wins. Yep, they both had three. But you got the championship, yep. so you took home the big hardware, and that's yep. that's what it's all about. Yeah, it was all consistencies, seconds, thirds, a lot of seconds. A lot of seconds. Yeah. But would any bad nights? Uh, we had one incident where we were actually taking the lead, and we got got clipped and spun around in front of the field and ended up breaking the rear end housing in half and calling it a night on like lap five or ten. So, so that was the only that was the only time we finished outside the top three all year. Really? So that I mean that's why you were at the head table and taking home the big hardware. Yeah, I guess you could call it the head table. We were like two rows back, but Well that's close <laughs> enough. Close enough to the front. But talk about Star Speedway, because a lot of people and I know I traveled there a lot this year. Oh, yeah. It seemed like every other week we were there with the legends and they were getting rained out. Yeah. But a lot of people from Maine you know, haven't been down there in a few years. And talk about what the Webbers have done to after the show stop or tried to sh stop the show. Um, it was, <laughs> they've done a lot of work over there. Uh, they've painted the whole facility. They've improved the grandstands and the concession stands and everything, trying to make it more friend, uh, fan friendly. So there's just been a lot of change over there that's really helped the place out. Yeah, and then you guys, and you guys were played with the rain all year too you know yeah, there was we, some nights there and i think we had a streak of like four or five in the middle of the year where we got rained out and you know weren't racing so now you got a great sponsor for that class you know, yeah we got the e keys for cars they've been good they've uh sponsored two years now looking i think they're doing a third so so the class is good coming back <laughs> oh, yeah. sometimes you hear these tracks with the high dollar purses you know and if they don't get the car counts they get a little nervous and it yeah. was you know, it seemed like at the beginning of the year you guys were good, and then you, you know, like most tracks, yeah. you drop off in the middle. But I mean, what'd you have the last? The end, night? the end was strong. I mean, the last, the last race we had 22 cars, I believe. So. And I know there was a few of them that walking around talking to yeah. have plans to run there next year. Yeah, a lot of guys are trying it out for next year, and I think everybody had a good run. There was no big wrecks that night, so. So, did you make any money this year? We did all right. What's that mean? Uh, Listen, it means we paid for the car. Me and Jake were talking <laughs> before we went on the air. Right? You yeah. raced all year. Yeah. You won the championship. Yeah. How many trophies did you win? I won two. I won one from week one when we won the race and got the one for the championship. I raced one race and won two. Yeah. So maybe you need to race what I race. I don't know. I tried that mechanics race, and I got a trophy for that, but I had to let it go to the car owner. I felt bad. Oh, I see. I don't give nothing away. I mean, because... I promised them I'd get them a trophy. They started me, like, 24th, and they called the race at lap 8 instead of 12. We would have won it, but... See, here's the problem. <laughs> I don't win a lot of stuff. Yeah. So when I do, you're not getting it. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I, like, I carried it home, and, I mean, everybody was laughing at me because both trophies... You didn't, you didn't let go of that the whole ride home, did you? Did you talk to everybody that was in the car with me? <laughs> No, no, I'm just making an no, assumption. No, I didn't. I a matter of fact, we stopped to eat, and I... Yeah. Did you put it on the table with you? Did you bring it in? No, but I put it on the hood to take okay. pictures to send right. to everybody so they would actually see it. So, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it is it is all about the hardware. The money's yeah. gone, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it's, it's all about the trophies. Yeah. 
So, you know, one of the other things that happened down the start this year and you were a part of was, uh, you know, they stepped up. And why I wanted to bring this up is we got Ron Eby from Wyndham Automotive, who's up for the NASCAR Humanitarian yep. Award. So there's a lot in today's show about giving back. Yeah. And you guys did with, your, you know, your yeah, race team. The they walk did against the cancer. walk against cancer and all that. And uh, there were some real big supporters from the track for that. I believe one team raised almost $10,000 for that. Yeah, so it isn't all about just seeing what you can take. It's it's about giving back. Yep. So, you know, and then uh, that's and every, something that they've yeah, been doing. Plus, at. every week they do a bike giveaway to a kid in the grandstands, help everybody out there. And unless you're me, unless you're you, and you'd you see three. Fifteen. Yeah, you, we won't do that again. That was a, it. Was it was, it was a rainy it was, night? It was a good time though. No, it was. And you I, made some happy kids. I appreciate all the legend guys that stepped up. And yep. sometimes you just. You know, when I go and ask people for something, you don't ask. That's yeah. how I tell you how to get a sponsor. Don't ask. Don't ask. If you tell ask them. them, you've given them the option to say no. Okay. You tell them. So that's the trick. I got 15 right. bikes, didn't I? True. All right. But I'm asking for a little more than bikes. How much are you asking for? I don't know. Whatever anybody's willing to help us out with. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit later in the show about right. something that you could use a little help in. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we got a great show planned today. I want to thank Jacob for coming to co-host today, but uh, we got... Matt Hoydell, who is the executive director from Camp Sunshine, that's going to yep. come in and talk a little bit about Camp Sunshine. A lot of people might not know what they do and give you some insight. And then we'll have Ron Eby, who is doing a great, he's been doing a great job for years, and now, you know, they're recognizing him, and he's, he's already got $25,000 for Camp Sunshine, and now he's hopefully going to put $100,000 in yep. Camp Sunshine's pocket. So that's, that's great to give back, you know, and that's what... That's what everybody should try to do every once in a while, especially this season. It's Christmas, so give back, you know. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with Matt Hoydell. Where's the best place to get a new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram? Southern Maine Motors. Well, it's a 2012 Dodge Challenger with a 5.7 Hemi. I saw it on the lot here at Southern Maine Motors, and I fell in love with it. The process was really easy. They had exactly what I wanted, so I took it home the same day. I was very pleased. you got to be careful when you drive this thing. You don't want to get out of it. It hugs the road so good. Southern Maine Motors is my dealership. No other dealer is working as hard to be number one as Southern Maine Motors. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. Most people know us for our RV sales and service. We're also Maine's largest trailer dealer. With over $1 million in stock and online at scotchrecreation.com. From two place opens to five place enclosed and everything in between. Our showrooms are stuffed with used snowmobiles, new jackets, bibs, pants, gloves, boots and helmets, plugs, belts, oil and more. We're ready for winter. Are you? Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations. Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Award Champs, rewarding your champions. The official supplier of Mainly Motorsports. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. And, uh, you know, for the past month, or, or even a little over a month, you, you've heard me and Greg talk about, we've posted on our Facebook page and talked each week about Ron Eby and his, uh, his opportunity to, to win this NASCAR, the, you know, Betty J. France Humanitarian Award. And uh, we've asked all our main supporters of motorsports to get out and, and go to NASCAR.com slash award and help Ron, uh, you know, to get some more money and take it to Camp Sunshine. And uh, we thought it was fitting, you know, by having Ron on the show here later on today to reach out to Matt Hoydell, who is the executive director of Camp Sunshine. And... Uh, Invite him on to Mainly Motorsports and have a, hear a little bit of what he has to say about not only Camp Sunshine, but how a great person Ron Eby is. But uh, I'd like to welcome you to Mainly Motorsports, Matt. Thanks, Steve. All Pleasure right. to be here. Now, Camp Sunshine, I mean, you're the executive director. You see it all. What is it about? Camp Sunshine's a retreat for children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. And um, the important part of that is the entire family gets to come to Camp Sunshine free of charge. And uh, we've been around since 1984. We've been serving families that entire time. And, and in 1984, when we were founded by Dr. Larry Gould and, and Anna Gould, um, we were the only camp of our kind in the nation serving the entire family, not just the old child, but every member of the family. And even today, we still are the only camp in the country solely focused on the entire family. And that's, what, you know, the neat thing about that is, you know, the child deals with the illness, yeah. but you don't realize the siblings and what they suffer because the things that they may not be able to do also because the brother or sister is ill. Absolutely. The parents, 
the things that they give up, you know. So to, to bring the whole family in and give them that welcoming atmosphere, and, and when I've seen some pictures and photos, I mean, it, it's just got to warm your heart and everybody's heart that's involved. Absolutely. Uh, you know, moms and dads uh, are busy. One may be working, one's at the hospital all the time with a sick child. Um, the siblings, uh, who's taking care of those siblings? Um, it's definitely not mom and dad all the time. And they, they, they get less attention because obviously the sick child needs a lot of attention. Um, and, and so Camp Sunshine just brings everybody together. It brings those uh, sick kids together. They can meet other kids and, who are just like them and know that they're not different. Um, moms and dads can meet other parents who can relate with one another. And siblings can come together and say, okay, you know, I'm not the only child out there who's, who's not getting all the attention. Um, if I felt uh, bad about that, I don't have to feel bad about, uh, about that. I know that I'm, I'm not alone. And uh, everybody here, 60 to, to 80 volunteers each week here to take care of us. So I think that gives families a good sense of community and support. Now, what are some of the activities that you guys offer for these families? We're, we're a typical summer camp in many ways. Um, you know, if you put aside the illness component, we've got a rock climbing wall. We've got the, the beachfront with the kayaks and the canoes. We've got a soccer field. Um, we've got an archery range. We've got a high ropes and low ropes course. Um, we've got a beautiful indoor facility, um, indoor pool, arts and craft spaces, and all sorts of activity rooms. So it's a magnificent campus right on Sebago Lake. And, um, all, you know, like I said, all, all activities like a typical summer camp. And then we, we, we blend in the components that make it specific to Camp Sunshine, such as parent discussion groups. Um, we have a medical clinic, for example, where we have to treat the kids. Um, if, if medical issues arise while they're at camp, and they do, it, do arise given our population. Yeah. Now, you mentioned volunteers. You know, a lot of people out there working not only at the camp, but on the, uh, on the outside, raising money to, to, to help this, you know, all get funded. And in particular, there's Ron Eby. I mean, you know, we all are here talking about NASCAR and everything that, you know, that he's up for there. But talk about Ron and what he's done way before he was nominated for this award. Yeah, well, Steve, um, first of all, Camp Sunshine is a volunteer-driven organization. Um, you know, we have over 2,500 volunteers a year giving of their time. We estimate about 70,000 hours of their time annually to Camp Sunshine. So you can imagine the amount of money that saves for us. So we see the best of the best in all of those volunteers. They're there not to collect a paycheck, but to help sick children and their families. And, um, and so when, when you're accustomed to seeing the best of the best, when you get somebody like Ron Eby, um, who gets recognized for going above and beyond, it really says something about who he is and what he does. And we nominated Ron because uh, by appearances, he looks just like, you know, an ordinary guy, right? Um, but he's extraordinary in every sense of the word. Uh, I think, it, you know, owning an auto repair shop We've all heard stories about auto repair shops and treatment. Um, but I think what Ron loves about that and what carries over so well into his volunteer work is that he lives and breathes service. Service is a way of life to him. Whether it's serving his customers or serving families at Camp Sunshine or serving members in the community by organizing a toy drive or a Thanksgiving food drive um, or doing a summer festival up in Wyndham that they've yep. organized that he helped to get off the ground again. He's, he's unique in, in that every step of the way, he's always looking for opportunities to serve others. And not only is, is he looking for them, he's opening himself up constantly to those opportunities that come his way to help others. And I think that that's what makes him unique, is that his heart is open to constantly doing something good for people. And so by being open to that, there are opportunities that other people might not see because they're busy, they, they may not have the time for it, he makes the time for it. And he, he's done so much for camp, but he's also done so much for the community. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, a lot of people, you know, now know about Ron because of the NASCAR deal and it's been all out there, but you know about Ron, the person that was doing this before there was anybody recognizing Ron. Absolutely, yeah. He's raised over $250,000 for Camp Sunshine. 
And he hasn't done it alone. He's done it. He's gotten Napa Auto Parts involved. He's gotten Shaw's Supermarkets involved. He's gotten the Gorham Winder uh, Firefighters Association involved. That's actually a funny story. He was in an ambulance on the way to the hospital uh, one day, <clears throat> and uh, he had a Camp Sunshine volunteer shirt on. And the EMT asked him, what's Camp Sunshine? Maybe to take his mind off of why he was going to the hospital. So for the rest of the ride, he spoke passionately about Camp Sunshine. Next thing you know, Wyndham Gorham Firefighters Association uh, made Camp Sunshine a beneficiary of their uh, comedy show, which they've been donating every year the proceeds, and they just gave us a check for $8,000. So not only has Ron raised money for Camp Sunshine and helped establish relationships, but these are relationships that have continued on for years now. And, and people who are now inspired in their own way, like Ron, to continue to give to Camp Sunshine. And it, it's amazing. And it is. And, and one of the things that I've always... And we met Ron, uh, you know, I live right down the street from his business, but, you know, the fact that he's one of our scroll sponsors, supports our show. So when I go in and we talk, every time we've, we've gone up for renewal or, or to talk about staying on board with the show, we always talk about Camp Sunshine. Yeah. And the thing that always caught my attention and always intrigued me was how he spoke with such passion about it. It wasn't that, you know, he wanted a pat on the back. It wasn't that, you know, uh, he wanted to be recognized or acknowledged. Yeah. He just spoke so passionately about the camp, the volunteers, uh, everybody involved, the families. It wasn't about Ron, you know. So, I mean, you couldn't have recognized and nominated a better person as far as I'm concerned. Well, you're, Steve, you're right. I mean, it's not this award for him, it's not about the recognition. Sure, he's proud of it. Uh, he sees himself as carrying the flag for all of the other volunteers who've contributed to Camp Sunshine, for all of the other volunteers in the community who've made their special contributions, and for everybody who's supported him in his efforts for Camp Sunshine. Um, but what he's most excited about is, is this uh, award, the Betty Jane France uh, Humanitarian Award by the NASCAR Foundation, is another opportunity for him to gain that exposure for Camp Sunshine. This is a perfect example. To be here on your show talking about Camp Sunshine um, is one more example of how Ron is, is thrilled and proud that he was nominated for this. And you're right, Steve, he, he was definitely the right person because he, throughout this whole process, has been very active in trying to get that recognition for Camp Sunshine through, through every avenue. And at the end of the day, um, you know, if we can help more families and if we can gain greater awareness, then I think Ron will just be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, no, and I think you're right. So I want to thank you for taking the time coming down here and sharing a little bit about Camp, Sign, Camp Sunshine with us, as well as Ron, a little history about Ron coming into the fold. And uh, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, you're going to meet and hear from Ron, uh, who was nominated for this award. And, you know, I want all our viewers from Mainly Motorsports to do all they can to get out there and really help Ron. And, but you're not helping Ron. You're helping these families, and you're helping Camp Sunshine. So we're going to take a break, and once again, Matt, thank you for Thanks coming on board. Steve. Thank you. Today's vehicles are equipped with complex safety features, such as anti-lock brakes, seat belt restraints, and airbag systems, even collision avoidance systems. Not available in all models. Hi, I'm Sean Moody from Moody's Collision Centers. We don't wish bad luck on anyone, but even with today's technology, we need to keep our eyes on the road and our hands on the wheel. Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations, Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Under the bright lights of your playing field, one performer continues to shine, the Fisher Extreme V. With durable X-Bracing, the Extreme V carries the load. With precision passes, the power to bust through, the maximum protection of the Fisher Trip Edge, and the brightest lights available. Fisher, your business, our passion. See Weir's Motor Sales Incorporated in a run -up. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by... Northern Race Tire, dealer for Sunoco Race Fuels, distributed by New England Racing Fuel. LKQ Core. Any part, any repair, anywhere. Located on Route 202 in Gorham. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. And uh, I'll tell you, I can't say any more than the fact that I am so honored right now.
to be sitting next to such a humanitarian, and that's Ron Eby. And you guys have heard us talk about him. You've heard us try to plug him and get you guys out there voting. Well, we got him right here in front of you today. So we want to welcome you to Mainly Motorsports, Ron. And uh, oh, Thank you so much, Steve. It's great to be here. Thanks well, a lot. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. The opportunity. Well, I mean, when we talk opportunities, you're the guy that's given so many the opportunities with your involvement with Camp Sunshine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, take us back to Ron first getting involved with Camp Sunshine and what Camp Sunshine's all about. Well, I first got involved by getting involved in the, in the town of Wyndham where I live and, and trying to help kick off Summerfest, which was a summer festival. And as part of that, I decided to build this crazy Mexican cantina that would catch a lot of attention. It was bright and colorful. I love to cook. Spent a lot of years in San Diego, so I was going to bring a Mexican flair and just go out there and have fun. And I knew that being in business for as many years as I'd been in, that I needed to be able to not only help get this going, but I needed to find a way to give back to the community and give back to something that was dear to me. So I actually was looking through a paper and I saw an article about Camp Sunshine and, and I picked that up and I called and talked to Mike Smith and I said, geez, you know, I'd love to love to do something. I told him what I was doing with the cantina and, and they welcomed me on with open arms. I said, jump on. You know, we'd love to have you be part of it. We're going to send someone down to talk to you, and, and best of luck. And I was really amazed by, you know, how, how welcoming they were and, you know, how much they wanted me to be involved with Camp Sunshine. So I talked with, uh, with the person that came down from camp that time, and um, we kind of set a path out there and decided we would go out and try to raise $5,000 for Camp Sunshine. And... I started putting the pieces together. I got the cantina built. I got the Summerfest up and going. And, um, it, you know, it just it, everything, everything seemed to just fall into place as far as the support for camp at that time. Since then, um, the journey has been incredible. Um, you know, we've raised well over a quarter of a million dollars. Um, this week, early in this week, I got a check from the Gorm Wyndham firefighters for $8,000 that was based on a rescue trip ride that I had um, about seven years ago, ended up having vertigo and ended up in a rescue headed to the hospital and said, geez, I don't have time to be sick. I got this fundraiser going and I'm, you know, I, I got to get back and get going at it. And got talking to the paramedic on the way. One thing led to the other. I said, geez, you know, you ought to, you ought to hear my story about Camp Sunshine. Found out that they raised money um, for a charity as well and looking for something different. And, um, through this ride to the hospital, I persuaded them to, to support <laughs> Camp Sunshine. And um, in the past seven years, they've, you know, they've raised close to $50,000, I think, at this point um, as a result. So it's been a magical ride. Things have just continued to, to grow and grow and grow um, all the way to this incredible opportunity with, with NASCAR coming up. Yeah, no, you know, Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award. Yep. There's four people that were nominated. You were one of them. I mean, did you find out through a phone call or a letter? I or? did. I did. There was, it went to a national um, process for nominees, so that was thrown out to the NASCAR board. We had no idea when or if we would hear anything or if we would even be accepted as the nominee. Um, and it certainly seemed like a long shot. Um, a lot of incredible people out there in the country that were nominated that certainly had, had all the credentials to, to be able to do what we're doing now. Um, Time went on. We heard a little bit more from NASCAR and kind of got excited, but then it went dead again. There was, yep. there was no more sounds. And one day my phone rang, my cell phone, and I picked it up, and they said, is this Ron? And I said, yeah. And she says, Ron, this is Marie from the NASCAR Foundation. And she said, I just want to let you know that you're one of our four finalists for the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award. And, um, I'll, you know, I'll tell you, I, I was speechless. I, I had no idea what to say, what to do. And, um, and I knew what an incredible opportunity this was going to be. I knew this incredible journey that I'd been on to raise money for Camp Sunshine and, and so many things that had come up over the, the years that had been so incredible were now capped off by this recognition by NASCAR. Um, being a race fan for most of my life, um, you certainly know what NASCAR stands for. You know their standards. You know their support for charities and, and what they do out there. So for them to give us a nod and say, listen, you know, this, this guy up in Wyndham, Maine yeah, well, has caught our attention and, and um, we want him to be one of our four nominees has been incredible. And, and since that day, 
Um, we have, we've made every opportunity count. We've just had some incredible, incredible things that have come up. So you know, at this point, I look, the, you know, the checkered flag's in the air, the finish line's there. Um, if I go sliding in feet first, beaten up, tattered, and nothing left of me by the time we get to Las Vegas, then we've made the most of this journey. And, and that's where we, you know, we need some help. We need some help as part of this whole process, being a national voting process. And need people to go to the nascar.com slash award uh, website and look. But not only look at me, look at the other three incredible people that are, that are just as exhilarated as I am to be there. Um, we certainly want your vote. We certainly would love to bring this back to Maine, and um, it's still astonished. Yeah, by the just fact. to be now, you know, you've already not yourself personally, but Camp Sunshine has already been awarded. Well, you know, the twenty-five thousand dollars for you yep. being a finalist. Yep. And now there's a hundred thousand dollars sitting out there for somebody. There's, I mean, there is. What would a hundred thousand dollars mean to Camp Sunshine? Oh, you know, a hundred thousand dollars would be incredible to Camp Sunshine. A um, hundred thousand dollars would be more than enough to sponsor an entire week um, and potentially add another week to what we do with Camp Sunshine. Um, there's, there's many, many needy families out there, not only from Maine, but all over the country and, and at, in some occasions outside the country. So to be able to go and to be able to create potentially another week that for families to come that was completely funded would be incredible. The other is the potential of an endowment where the money gets invested into Camp Sunshine and continues to supply um, the support for families for years and years to come. So it, it truly would be a blessing to Camp Sunshine. Um, and, I, and I think it would be a great honor, not only to myself, but the state of Maine and the incredible staff at Camp Sunshine, the incredible volunteers that continue to give their hearts and souls to do what we do. Um, and these families, the families that come and, and trust us, um, is, you know, and depend on us for support is, is absolutely incredible. I don't think we, we don't realize what these families go through every day and how difficult it can be, but we give them a chance to have a respite, we give them support, we give them friendship, we give them memories and we make dreams come true. Um, those things you can never take away from them, you can never take them away from the family. And I'm certainly, you know, not only proud to be part of the NASCAR award, but proud to be associated with Camp Sunshine and, and the incredible staff, the incredible people. Um, I would certainly encourage, after the NASCAR vote comes, I would encourage people to stay in touch and continue to look out and see what Camp Sunshine does. Go to our website. Go to thecampsunshine.org um, and see what's going on. Look to volunteer. Uh, if you know someone that's got a family that may be able to benefit from what we do, get in touch with us. If you see one of our fundraisers, whether it be a polar dip or a, a pumpkin festival or so many of the yeah. things we do, please you know, stay in touch and, and watch and see what we do because this incredible opportunity has opened the door for Camp Sunshine in many ways. And we certainly would love people to go and, and um, be part of that. As voted, you know, as voters, um, you've already become part of our Camp Sunshine family, and we can't thank you enough for being part of that and, and part of this incredible NASCAR experience. Hopefully, you know, we've, we've made Camp Sunshine proud. We've made Maine proud. I am humbled to be in this position, but I know that we've also made the NASCAR world proud and, and all the racers in the state of Maine, Anybody that's been associated with NASCAR, um, you know, it's certainly to be something to be proud of, to be associated with a sport that has set standards as high as NASCAR has set them. Yeah, you're right. And uh, like you said, it's just Camp Sunshine is the ultimate winner here. Ron Ebay, it is. he's like, he's just the leader. Um, he's leading this, this troops, so to speak, I am. in the motorsports community. But I we're going to take a break. We come back and we'll talk with Ron some more about... Uh, you know, his experience and some of the people that he's met at NASCAR and some of the doors it's opened to give him the behind-the-scenes looks that all us motorsports fans would just die for. So we're going to yeah. take a break. We'll be right back with Ron Eby. Hi, I'm Scott from Scott's Recreation. Most people know us for our RV sales and service. We're also Maine's largest trailer dealer. With over $1 million in stock and online at scotchrecreation.com. From two-place opens to five-place enclosed and everything in between. Our showrooms are stuffed with used snowmobiles, new jackets, bibs, pants, gloves, boots and helmets, plugs, belts, oil and more. We're ready for winter. Are you? 
Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner, and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. Patman's Redemption and Agency Liquor Store is located at 95 Tanberg Trail in Wyndham, Maine. With over 400 feet of hard liquor and 15 doors of ice cold beer and soda, Patman's can handle all of your beverage needs. And if it's wine on your agenda, we have over 300 varieties in stock. Then when the party's over, Patman's can handle all of your main returnables, and we welcome all bottle drives. And if you're late for the race, drop off the bottles and pick up the cash at your convenience. Hey, this is Patman himself. Just letting you know that Patman's is your one-stop shop for all your thirsty needs. All of us at Moody's Collision Centers would like to thank you for supporting us for over 30 years. We all own stock in Moody's and have a vested interest in you and your vehicle. The people at Moody's Collision Centers are part of the community and our reputation is very important to us. We take pride in our work and guarantee our repairs for as long as you own your vehicle. At Moody's Collision Center, we care about our customers. So when your insurance company asks where you want to go, Tell them, Moody's, Moody's Collision Center. Center. Now, with seven convenient locations, Orem, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by... Southern Maine Motors, out to be Maine's number one Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealership, Route 1 Saco. Well, obviously there's a lot of other quirks that go along with being nominated with this, you know. Yeah. You get to go down, uh, you know, the finals is going to be, all four of you are going to be on the stage at Las Vegas for the, for the, the Sprint Cup banquet. Yep. I mean, yeah. how big of a deal is that? Yeah, that's really? incredible. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you think about it, and you think about standing on that stage and looking out into a, a whole room of people that are, you know, that are, that are your heroes, that are other people's heroes, that people watch every, you know, Saturday night or Sunday afternoon and look up to, um, to look at, to look out into that crowd of some of the team owners and and what they've done, is just incredible. And when you look at what NASCAR represents as far as a sport and as far as the the humanitarian side of it, you have to look out there and and just be amazed. Um, going and meeting the other three, is probably one of the highest things on on my priority list because I know these people have moved mountains and changed the world. So They've had visions just like yourself. They and, have. You know, and it's hard for us to sit here and fathom the fact that you'll be standing on a stage looking down and you'll have the likes of Jimmy Johnson, Brad Kozlowski, yeah. you know, Jeff Gordon, yeah. guys like you said that we look up to, we that do. are going to be sitting there with jaw-dropping experience in awe of Ron Eby. Yeah. I mean, in look awe of Ron Eby and what you've done. And, and that's an incredible honor. Support. You know, I... I what he teaches I guess from a racing standpoint, if I were going to try to, to put it into words, um, I would say it would be it would be like winning the Daytona 500. It would be like winning the Sprint Cup Championship, um, probably combined um, when it comes to emotions when you stand there. I mean, that's how big it is to me, and, and that's how serious I've taken it as far as the entire this whole campaign and what it's done for camp and what it's drawn to Maine. So, yeah, yeah, looking I mean, out. If nothing else, even after the process is over, whether you get presented the $100,000 check to go along with the twenty five for Camp Sunshine or somebody else does, you've opened a lot of people's eyes in the state of Maine and especially in that motorsports community right. of Camp Sunshine and what it's all about. And, you know, and hopefully the, the people that have stepped up and supported will continue their support in, in some way when they see the... You know, the, you're, you're selling the things, what are those things? The sunnies. You know, so now that person that doesn't even hesitate, doesn't wait for the clerk to ask them. They said, hey, I want one. Right. You know, and that's, that's what it's all about. And, you know, NASCAR.com slash award. You go on there, like you said, read the other three finalists. And, you know, I'm asking everybody at Mainly Motorsports. We all got friends. You know, we're all big supporters of motorsports. And here's a chance to, to support Camp Sunshine in a way that we never dreamed possible. I mean, never. And then, you know, when I pick up the paper one day and read about Ron, who's a scroll sponsor on Mainly Motorsports, it's like, wow, what can we do to help? Let's, let's try to, you know, because... The motorsports community in, in, you know, northern New England right. is a really tight-knit group, and they always Absolutely. come together. Absolutely, and that's, and that's one of the things that we've shared with NASCAR. When we look at, when we look at cities like Charlotte and some of the, the very large cities, and you look at the amount of race fans that come out to those races, and, and you compare that to the amount of people that are in those areas. Now, shifting that to someplace like Loudoun, um, Loudoun will bring 100,000 fans out. We're tucked away in a small state, up in a corner so a hundred thousand fans is a huge amount of, of the population that's coming out to support and and one of the things that I've wanted to so 
certainly let NASCAR know is that they have incredible support up here. Um, whether you go to Beechridge, if you're going out to Oxford Plains, or so many of the other speedways and raceways around, um, you go out and you just, you know, you know, a racing is alive and well up here, and and you know, racing is one of those sports that it really allows people to, to maintain their own identity. It it keeps the competitive spirit. The kids look up to them. I can remember when I when I first started driving, you know. Anything that said NASCAR or racing or anything yeah. I could do to make my car go faster was cool. And um, these kids and these families come out to all these racetracks all over Maine, all over New Hampshire, and they support these drivers that work so hard to go out there and just have fun. And, and so many of these tracks are NASCAR sanctioned. So to raise the bar to that level and to teach you know, the kids and, and the families what NASCAR is about as well as enjoy the racing is is um, pretty incredible, and and we do a great job of it in Maine, uh, New Hampshire, um, and NASCAR does a great job with it across the country, which makes it so special to be part of this you know this incredible award, um, and it, it means a lot to bring it to Maine. It means a lot to to represent NASCAR in a very positive way, and, and I hope that for years to come, NASCAR and Camp Sunshine has a, a relationship and a bond, and. You know, certainly mainly motorsports and getting out to, you know, all the racers. Um, I certainly have to thank them, and I have to thank so many of them that have already stepped up and ask you to go out there and support and ask you to to rally the troops and rally your friends and neighbors and say, you know, let's let's do something for Maine, um, and be car, you know, become part of the Camp Sunshine family as well as as um, be proud of what you do and who you are. Yeah, and, because I mean, obviously, a lot of people are going to be sitting home watching the NASCAR Awards banquet. Right. And, you know, I don't know if they'll tape delay the part where they present the humanitarian mm-hmm. award or whatever, but it'll come out. It will come out. And to think that every one of us that goes and we can vote every single day, yep. every single day till the, the process is over. Yep. And if we could all be fortunate enough to hear Ron Eby's name, you know, supporting Camp Sunshine as the, you know, 2012 Betty Jane France right. humanitarian award winner, every one of you. No, you played a part. Yeah. I mean, and how cool would that be yeah. knowing that you just awarded Camp Sunshine $100,000? Absolutely. You know what I mean? That's, Absolutely. You, you all played a part. So that's what I'm asking you to do from here out till the end of the month and uh, till it's over. Get out there. Notify your friends. You're all on social media. You all have emails. Just blast it out there. You know, they got to go to NASCAR.com slash award and get this man, Ron E.B., and Camp Sunshine, another hundred thousand dollars, and that's I'm, I don't ask for much. I don't I hardly <laughs> ask for anything ever, right? I mean, you hear Greg ever all the time. You know, I don't ask for nothing. I just do it. Well, I'm telling you guys, we got to do it. Let's mainly motorsports. You know, my fans, our, our people. You know, this is the last chance that Ron's got really to, yep, to, we're to coming that to the wire. big blast. So we just brought him in the pits. We made that last adjustment, and now we're going to try to put him in victory lane. So I want to thank you for taking the time, Ron, and uh, oh, you know anything we could ever do and. Uh, Actually, I didn't bring it today, but uh, a couple weeks ago show, I have it. I won a race that paid $100. All and right. They handed you the check, and it was blank. And so I said, well, I, you know, I write my own name in. The guy was, he, didn't, he says, I don't know who's going to win, but just the winner, I give it, write your own name in. So we had it on the show, and I said, you know what? And we were talking about you at the end of the show. I said, uh, I'm just going to donate my $100 to Camp Sunshine. So... I got a hundred dollar check there, and I my other three businesses I matched it, so I got three four hundred dollar checks to Camp Sunshine for yeah, you, Ron. So that, that's incredible. That's incredible, and that's and that's the type of support and the outpouring and the incredible journey that it, you can't put into words. Um, and and you know, that being said, that that few hundred dollars makes a huge difference in what we do. You know, it really does. Um, it, I would certainly invite you to come to Camp Sunshine sometime. I'd love you to come. Uh, maybe film something with Mainly Motorsports. The kids love race cars, um, so it would be great to do something there. But it would also be great just to show you that experience. Um, and show I others mean, what we do and, and why it's so, so special and so incredible. It, it puts life in perspective. Oh, absolutely. It, and it, you know, absolutely. it makes that bad hair day not so bad. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So I want to thank you again, Ron, and I hope... Uh, I hope this last push that we're able to do with you and uh, through Mainly Motorsports and our fans and you know all our supporters really, we can say we played a part in putting you over the oh, top, absolutely. And, you know, absolutely. and doing something great for Camp Sunshine. Yeah, so. we're proud to be here and we're, and we're thir- certainly very thankful for the support and and we appreciate it. All right, Ron. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back with Jacob Dore on Mainly Motorsports.
Where's the best place to get a new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram? Southern Main Motors. Here at Southern Main Motors, they really worked with me and made the payments work so it was affordable. They sit you down, they tell you every little piece of paper, what it means, what this is, and what that is. They're very good here with service, um, helping out if you got any questions with anything. I'll come back the next day to pick up the car. They said, you're ready now. Southern Main Motors is my dealership. Southern Main Motors is my dealership. No other dealer is working as hard to be number one as Southern Main Motors. Clark's Car Crushing has been a family-owned and operated business since 1978. We do everything from crushing cars, handling industrial scraps, to buying the scrap metal right out of the back of your pickup. Copper, brass, stainless steel, aluminum, you name it, we'll buy it. We have roll-off containers of all sizes for industrial accounts. We'll handle the legwork with full drop-off and pickup services. So for a professional job, guaranteed honest weights, and top dollar paid statewide, come see the Clark family in Farmingdale, Maine. Clark's Car Crushing. Don't fix it, scrap it. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by... Award Champs, rewarding your champions. The official supplier of Mainly Motorsports. Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations. Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. All right, he's probably raising a little more than you guys did yeah. at your uh, cancer walk, but pretty neat. And yeah. like, you know, I told him... Can you imagine standing on the stage looking down at all them guys? I mean, you're on the same stage that, you know, somebody's going to be on and, you know, all those heroes. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, so we'll find out in a week or two if Camp Sunshine's got another 100,000 coming in. But you obviously won the championship. We yep. talked about that early in the show, the consistency. But talk about your team. I mean, you got some great help, and yeah, they're, we, they're there uh, every week. Yeah, we've got some good help. My, uh, my grandfather building the motors, he does a really good job with that. They're real reliable. Uh, my dad helps out in spots and kind of mounts tires and does some other stuff. And then I've got Fred LeClaire and some other people that just come around and hang out and help. Uh, Timmy Weber and some others. Yeah, and then obviously... Ryan Tabscott and Gary Tabscott. Yeah, I was going to say mean, Gary because Gary yeah, did a bunch of yeah, stuff for us do. back. He's quite a fabricator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's made up a whole bunch of stuff for the trailer and helps me build the bodies on the car over the winter and all that. Yeah, so, I mean... Obviously, you you play a bigger part than yeah. most people realize because, you know, you're under the car, under the motor, any way you need to be. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I have a hard time waiting for somebody else to do something, so I'll just get out and take care of it. Me and you ain't <laughs> never going to get along because I'll just wait all day for somebody to do something. Well, that'll be fine then. I'll just be under the car working on it. Yeah, so I have people. Yeah. So, yeah, as long as you don't mind. But, no, I'll do whatever yeah. I have to. But it's good that you've got those guys that, that follow you. Now, have some of those guys been with you? Since the legend days? Yeah, I mean, uh, my my dad, my grandfather have been there f forever, so. And then Gary and Ryan, mainly the past year, have stepped it up and gone to the track with us. But before that, when we started with the Modifieds, they started helping us building the bodies and everything. And with just fabrication work they've done for, for a long time for us. Well, that's cool. Now, sponsors, yeah. I mean, some of the same sponsors Yeah, we've forever, had some or? sponsors forever, like Cabana's Auto Body, uh, Wire Pro Safe and Sound, uh, lately, we've had Galway Bay for the past few years. A um, whole bunch of other people that help us out. Bentley Saloon, Perkins Paving, um, Arundel Machine Tool, Scotts Cove Campground, Stony Road Septic, uh, J. Rankin Towing, La Pola, Spray Foam Solutions, uh, AC Provo's Auto, and I probably missed like three or four. So, Wow, so you yeah. guys have done well. Yeah, well, we, we get some help. So, Well, and the thing is, and like I try to explain <coughs> to people with sponsors, you know, it isn't all about what they can do for you, but yeah. you got to do something back. And yeah, I mean, I mean, how many times were you at Bentley's with the car this year? Yeah, we went for to the car yeah, shows. Yeah, we had the car shows at Bentley's a couple times this year. Helped out with that. You know, um, the off-season shows. The off-season, we do your Augusta show and the Portland show. So we try to help out, try to get the sponsors out there, so everybody gets to see our stuff. Yeah. So. And then when the sponsors come. Yeah. I mean, let's not forget they get fed, right? Oh, of course, if anybody comes, they get fed. Now, what's the grocery bill every week? Does I, that do the tire bill? I think so, actually. Really? Does yeah. Dad know? Uh, I think he's got an idea. Really? Don't yeah. say nothing? Yeah. I know then one week when we knew we were going, we were getting brownies, and I yeah. wanted milk, and I think oh. the $1. fifty milk was doing him in. So yeah, yeah. Was I was going to go does. get my yeah. own cow. But that, yeah. but that is good because, you know yeah. what I mean, it makes people feel welcome oh, yeah. in the sponsors because you know, I mean, they drop in 35 bucks to get in, yeah. so if you can get a drink or yeah. get something, so no, that, that is pretty good. So when we come back, we're going to take a break. I want to talk about, you know, your race team and the yeah. fact that they're up for some awards yeah. through Mainly Motorsports. Yeah. Maybe you don't even know yet. Maybe you haven't been on the Mainly's, but I, we're going to talk about when like. we come back. All right, we're going to take a break when we come back on Mainly Motorsports. Yeah. 
Under the bright lights of your playing field, one performer continues to shine. The Fisher Extreme V. With durable X-bracing, the Extreme V carries the load. With precision passes, the power to bust through, the maximum protection of the Fisher trip edge, and the brightest lights available. Fisher, your business, our passion. See Weir's Motor Sales Incorporated in Arundel. Patman's Redemption and Agency Liquor Store is located at 95 Tanberg Trail in Wyndham, Maine. With over 400 feet of hard liquor and 15 doors of ice cold beer and soda, Patman's can handle all of your beverage needs. And if it's wine on your agenda, we have over 300 varieties in stock. Then when the party's over, Patman's can handle all of your main returnables and we welcome all bottle drives. And if you're late for the race, drop off the bottles and pick up the cash at your convenience. Hey, this is Patman himself. Just letting you know that Patman's is your one-stop shop for all your thirsty needs. Hey, I'm Kyle Busch, and when I'm in Maine, I watch mainly motorsports. Mainly motorsports brought to you by... Scotch Recreation. Whether you're thinking about your first camper or looking to upgrade your current one, Scotch Recreation can help you. Get both our Route 202 Manchester and our Route 4 Turner locations and online at scotchrecreation.com. LKQ Core. Any part, any repair, anywhere. Located on Route 202 in Gorham. I'm here with the e -Keys for Cars champion, Jacob Dorth, 2012, down the Star Speedway. And uh, one of the things we try to do each year, I started four or five years ago, was the yep. main lease. And... Uh, a couple of years ago, you were in college, yeah, and you had a lot of support that year because I checked oh, the yeah. email addresses, and it was a lot coming from UNH. Yeah, I mean, I just go to different computer clusters and ask people to vote. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Hey, they're all over Facebook. Everybody yeah, wants everybody's to vote. Everybody's on Facebook you know? asking. And so uh, this year, I just had a lot of know, friends at the school that vote. Yeah, and so this year, you're all you're up for uh, premier track division. Yep. Driver of the year. Pretty good, you know. Bradley Babs in there. A couple other guys from up north, Andy Saunders, you might not be aware of. Yeah. Then your uh, your crew chief, top wrench there, yep. Bob, grandfather, he's up yep. for crew chief of the year, you know what I mean? Which is, I'll tell you right now, last year, that was the best category of all of them. It, it started out one way and then it was like, it, did, it wasn't settled. It changed yep. like three times in the last week. So I don't know if what'll happen this year, but, uh, I mean, how exciting would it be for him to, to win an award for, you know, being yeah, recognized be... by the peers and the other people? Yeah, he was surprised when he got recognized at the banquet last Saturday for it, so. You know, and it's nice to see the people behind the scenes, you know, to get recognized. Yeah. And that's why I do that category every year for the crew chief of the year. But I think the category that people are most excited about that I keep hearing about, people saying what a great idea, is fiercest rivalry. Yep, that's pretty interesting right there. Well... You know, and this is what the funny thing is. When I looked at it, right, some of those rivals, yeah. Bradley Babb and Aaron Ricca, they can't stand each other. Yeah. Let's just put it bluntly. You ain't got to, but I will. They don't like each other, okay? And then you got Louie and what I and thought the, could have well, been the whole Wildcat the division. The problem was I was going to put Louie versus the whole Wildcat division. I'm like, if they win, then i got to buy 25 plaques. So from a business standpoint, I picked one, and yeah. it was Louie and Albie. Yeah. So, but you and Josh, you don't have really that on track. I think it... This is my opinion, and I'm not saying I know, yeah. but this is my opinion. I think it's the fact that you're both coming from Maine, yeah. traveling to Star, and it's like that bragging rights thing. Yeah, I mean, figure out who's going to bring the trophy back every week. So Yeah, and then I, I even think it goes a little deeper because, I mean, I follow Facebook, and it yeah. seemed like every week there was like a battle of who was eating what. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Was... I mean, should it have been Ann Hanovit versus <laughs> Debbie Dorr? I mean, should we have done that, honestly? I, mean, you can I don't say know. That. Are you going to start cooking wars next time or what? That guy yells at him, though, right? I don't <laughs> even yell at him. I mean, but yeah, it was like, you know, I mean, I do have like Jay Cushman yeah. versus Walt Dearborn. Walt Dearborn's a tech guy at Richmond, Jay. Yeah. And it, I mean, so it, it was something I had some fun with. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know where that's going to end up. But every one of those, you know, for different reasons is at each yeah. other. I mean, it's an interesting category, so. Now, how much... You know, obviously the 71 team, yeah. I mean, it seems like you guys are at the shows together, you guys, and it is, I'm not saying it's a controversial thing, but it is, I mean, it's you two for bragging rights, I mean. Yeah, kind of, so, I mean, we both work hard at what we do, so. Now, 2013, yep. what's the plans? Uh, we're going to run around and have some fun, I think. We're going to pretty much run the whole deal at Star, by the looks of it right now. Funding looks there, so we'll be able to do that. 
and uh, we're possibly working on a deal to run a wheel and tour car a couple times. Now, wheel and tour car. I mean, there's, yeah. I mean, a lot of people might not realize they're similar, but there are some differences. Yeah, there, there's some differences. There's usually a lot more money in those cars. Uh, a lot of the safety things are different. Just like it's a, uh, it's just a couple steps down from NASCAR. So, yeah. Now, what? Why couldn't you take your car and go wheeling? Um, mainly because our car is older, so it's a lot heavier than what they're running now. Uh, some of the safety stuff that we'd have to change, uh, just like wheel tethers would have to be steel. We'd have to change the ignition system in the car and a few other things. And actually, I think our roof might be too big by the body rules now. Really? So, so. when people sit in the stands yeah. of Star, it may look like yeah, what I they're mean, seeing down at Loudon on those yeah. Saturday before the cup races, I but mean, there's even, enough difference. Stuff. Even to that fact, Richard Savory that races with us every week, his car is eligible to run wheel, and he runs the wheel and tour a couple times. Yeah. So. And then you saw some of those guys when they came in for the yeah. SBM race, the SBM, right? Yeah, when we raced against Mike Stefanik and Ryan Priest and all those guys. I think Bobby Santos was there, and he qualified on the pole. So Now, is that race a goal for next year again, have you heard? Or? I believe so. Everything should be on schedule for it. Because I'll tell you, I went to a lot of races this year, and that was probably one of the biggest highlight events that, yeah. that I had all year. I mean, that was in the finish. I mean, yeah. for Josh to do what he did, you didn't have the finish. You got wrecked yeah, we you know, had on a restart incident, or something. But, yeah. but uh, I mean, for Josh and Stefanik to come across the line the way they did, yep. I mean, Ryan Priest and them battle at the end, I mean, you know, Matt, Matt Hirschman, Hirschman, I mean, that was just, it was just, that was a great race. Yeah. You know, and it, it puts, and that's what you want is to see people on the edge of their seats. Yeah. I think it was good for the fans. They had a decent crowd and everybody got to see some real hard racing. Yeah. No, you're right. We're going to take a break. We come back. We're going to wrap up this. What do you like? What do you think of this co-hosting gig? It's not a bad deal. Is the seat comfortable? Uh, it's not bad. I mean, I hear Greg complains, but I like it. Yeah. So you think <laughs> it could be the size of the co-host? It could be. All right. We're going to take a break, come back, wrap it up. And then then it'll be next time. Yep. Today's vehicles are equipped with complex safety features such as anti-lock brakes, seat belt restraints, and airbag systems. Even collision avoidance systems. Not available in all models. Hi, I'm Sean Moody from Moody's Collision Centers. We don't wish bad luck on anyone, but even with today's technology, we need to keep our eyes on the road and our hands on the wheel. Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations, Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. Most people know us for our RV sales and service. We're also Maine's largest trailer dealer. With over $1 million in stock and online at scotchrecreation.com. From two place opens to five place enclosed and everything in between. Our showrooms are stuffed with used snowmobiles, new jackets, bibs, pants, gloves, boots and helmets, plugs, belts, oil and more. We're ready for winter. Are you? Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. Welcome to Mainly Motorsports. To order copies of a show, send a check or money order for $15, shipping and handling included, to Mainly Motorsports, 326 Roosevelt Trail, Wyndham, Maine, 04062. And please add a description of the show. Mainly Motorsports, brought to you by... Gary Hotels, located in Brunswick, Freeport, Waterville, and Augusta, the official hotel of Mainly Motorsports. Clark's Car Crushing, located in Hollowell, providing guaranteed honest weights with top dollar being paid. All right, you touched on the, the wheeling opportunity. Yep. I mean, are we in negotiations with somebody? Or? Uh, yeah, we're uh, in negotiations with Tom Estes to run his car for uh, Estes Lumber in Londonderry. So I don't think that's the Tom Estes that everybody in Maine's aware of that owned high tech racing with Benji no. Rowe back in. No. So, well, that'd be a pretty so, good opportunity yeah, for you. It's a good opportunity. We're, we're in works on that right now so uh should be finalized pretty soon now are you going to have a car in augusta at the show uh we'll have my car in augusta for the show and then uh for the portland show we'll do my car and maybe even that one if we can get it done if you guys have room we'll make room but what are you uh any big plans for the 05 this year because you won uh no oh, we won best of the show up in augusta last year so yeah it was really nice looking yeah we got to change something we got to do something to make, win it again because i don't know if the colby's are coming but i mean yeah. they, when they do they they yeah. put a lot of effort in and yeah they do so and there are some great things now you got bob is the top ranch over yep. a star and he's you know in the obviously in the main leagues you're going to put a crew together your pit crew to for the pit crew challenge yeah of course we'll put something together i mean that's going to be 
that's going to be big. I mean, that's it's one of those things that the interactive things that the yeah. people like to come and watch and, and do. And then the funny thing was is we're going to have a, a media one where I have to have my own team, and then I have to have like a woman. I have to have somebody that's like over 58 years old. I have to have a track and employee, and I have to have something like a sponsor of somebody. Yeah. So really, nobody and myself. So five probably non-talented people to try to change four tires. You just considered yourself non-talented. What's that supposed to be? I'm honest. I'm honest. I, but I'll tell you what, I will. You can jack the car or you just going to pick it up? No, the media person. <laughs> the media person has to change the tire. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I may <clears throat> change both my tires. Oh, I just said that on air. I'm in wow. trouble. Now no, no. I just let out my secret. God. That's all right. I didn't say that. I might yeah. not. I'll do it all by the legit rules. Okay. But I don't care what happens. But you're gonna make sure the wheels are tight after too. Or? Oh yeah, because there's penalties and all okay. that stuff. All right. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty good. And you know, there's some other announcements. The hell of a good 25. Yep. Which is a big deal. I mean, some of those names that are on that list were names that Jake Doyle was sitting in the grandstands, couldn't even go in the pits. Oh yeah. Cheering for you know. So we got that. And I think I added up the other day. We'll end up giving out over 60 awards up there. You know and. Not to mention all the seminars that are going on. Yeah. Seminars are always the funnest thing. Well, it keeps people... I don't know if you went to the Pass of the Mic one last year. Yeah, I went to the Pass of the Mic last year. I went to the Spotter Seminar the yeah, year Yeah, so we're going to have them there this year. we got um, Texas Road Hustlers come on board. They're going to do yeah. one for Motorsports Marketing. Um, you know, the Spotter Seminar. And then Quirk, and I know you don't have a body shop, yeah. but you got a body shop right out back, so maybe yeah. you can attract your sponsor to come up, Cabanas. Quirk is brewing a big seminar up there with, with reps from all the manufacturers for... Yeah that sell the, the fiberglass and all that. So there's, there's going to be a lot going on. Yeah. So you're going to have a car there. Oh, yeah. We'll have something. What do you mean something? It's coming up. It's a month away. Hey, last time I put it together in 40 hours. you got a lot more time now. I'm yeah, looking I do. at a clock that don't even work, yeah. right? All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. I want to thank Jake for coming in yeah. and wish you luck in your 2013. You. And we didn't even mention your biggest project of 2013. It's not that big of a project. It isn't? Just a little fun stuff on the side. Yeah, Jake's going to help Alicia out this year and try to give her a little bit more experience, get her a little bit more yeah. comfortable. And uh, as we attack the legend, and yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if we're going to run the whole legend tour, but it's pretty, we can run a lot of races. Yeah. And now she's legal age to go to Beach Ridge and Thursday Thunder. So that's going to be fun. That's just going to be another headache, right? No, it's just going to be, be fun. Be honest with me. It's going to be fun. Really? Yeah. Okay. You realize that I'm of no help, <laughs> right? That works. Okay, as long as you understand that. <laughs> I don't want you looking at me in June because you know what's going to happen? I'll say, wait a minute, sit down here, and I'll pull this DVD out, and we'll right. pop it in. I'll say, All right. watch the end of the show. You are towing the you. car to the track, though, right? Well, look, I'll get it there. Okay. All I right. will get it there. All right, as long as you get it there with some tools. Well, now he's pushing it. <laughs> and I'll tell you, people will tell you yeah. you're pushing it. But yeah. thanks for coming on, and uh, I hope everybody enjoys this week's episode, enjoyed the Thanksgiving, and whatever it is the way they did. And uh, we'll see you next time. Right now you're on Mainly Motorsports. This last guy, I never really got to know him. I knew him, but I never really got to know him until this past year up in Augusta. Best thing I think I knew him for was uh, the big the big win that his car had that got taken away in the Pro All-Star Series race a couple years ago when Kyle Busch made off with the trophy still. From Mainly Motorsports, the guy that helps each and every one of you if you only ask him, Steve Perry. This award will be presented yearly to a recipient in recognition of their never-ending efforts and loyal support of Star Speedway and its racers. And this year's recipient is that and more. This year's recipient of the Darlene Nutting Memorial Award goes to Debbie Dorr. <laughs>